Regular expression is one of those powerful tools that can be used anywhere. Um, now let's try to match three domains and two top level domains in one regular expression. So we will uh, write down CNN.com, Forbes.com and Fox.org. We're using a tool uh, that is called Reg 101. Let's open the parentheses. Let's uh, write down CNN and the OR sign. Now let's write down Forbes and another OR sign and fox now let's close the parentheses now the dot symbol means any characters any character so we will escape it using the backslash dot and now we only have the tld so we'll open a new parentheses we'll write down com or org and close parentheses and we have a full match let's take that syntax and put it in our URL filter. Let's create a new filter. Let's name it Block CNN. In the URL filter, we will create a new filter. Uh, the type is regular expression. We can uh, use the simple and wildcard also. But let's uh, paste our syntax. The action is block. And let's head over to our Ubuntu host to see how that works, but not before applying that to our policy. All right, we're in our Ubuntu host. Let's try to get to CNN.com and we have the block replacement message. The web page is blocked. Now let's try Forbes.com and the same goes here. We have our web 